Hey y'all. Well, um, I mentioned in an earlier video that one of the things I was going to do was talk about my freelance writing. Um, what I'm going to do is just talk a bit about how I keep things organized, um, what I write about, and and such. That way, if any of you are either doing freelance writing, you just started out, or this is something you may be interested in doing, these are just some ideas that can help you get organized. That way, when you start, you know, jotting down your thoughts or whatnot, you got it organized and prioritize and situate it in a way that makes sense to you okay now when I first started freelance writing I had a binder a basic binder or hang on I'm dropping everything basic binder like this with tabs and all and that's how I did it but as time progressed and I started you know exploring other genres from the ones that I began with my folder got bigger and bigger. I started with a two inch ring binder and I jumped up to a three. Before I knew it, I had a filing cabinet full of folders. So, yeah, it just, it got large, but that happens, you know. Uh, it's like crafting. You start off with a small project doing one particular thing and before you know you're like you're thinking what if? What if I try something this way? And then you run down to the store and get a whole parcel of crafting things and before you know you're like okay I need some containers. I run out of space. It happens. It's cool. Anyways, so I eventually graduated to this accordion file folder carry on what you call it thing. I'm sure there's a technical term for it, but that's what I'm going with. But um, I came across this a while ago, and it worked out so much better than what I had before. Because I start off with a binder, then I moved to a filing cabinet, and then I got a portable file cabinet, I guess you can say here. But this works for me, and I keep it over here in my little office space, you know, on the shelf. It's in my filing cabinet where it's taking up room where I need other, you know, that space for other things. Well, anyway, so let me dab in this real quick. It's just a basic aquarium file. I found this pretty little thing up at the thrift store. Go figure. You, you know, it's what I do. Found up at the thrift store. Um, Lord, I can't remember how much it was. It's been a while. But I know it had to have been under, under $10. So, but I grabbed it. And it's just got this little, can you see okay? This little hook right here. Boom. Just, isn't that pretty? Little things like that. Just give me a thrill. <laughs> Anyways, see? Just an accordion file folder. It's big. I call, uh, she's a big girl. She's a big girl. But, uh, no, what I did, I'm going to do a little close-up. Hopefully you can see this okay. You see, I got it broken down. Contests. Uh, subscriptions. Submissions. I think that's what that says. No, magazines of interest. I can't read backwards. But I got it broken down. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me let me, let me do this here. Hopefully it ain't too bad. Because I, I want y'all to see this. So there we there we go yeah okay so but uh, let's see here but I got it broken down into a lot of different categories that works for me like I got one here for locations whenever I think or see a place somewhere either on TV or on the internet that I think would be a great place for a story I throw it in here make, make a little note about it do some research and then throw it in here because this is, you know, in order to write, you got to have yourself a location. There's a lot of, there's so many places all over the world you can choose from. So, uh, next we got plots, which is fun. You know, that's the meat of the story. All right. And then story ideas. I got her some things in here. I've been building, look at all that. I've been building this. I need to. Some things, stories have already started. I just gotta 
get back to them. Character ideas. And this one is so much fun to do. And I come up, you know, as a writer, you can come. I'm sorry, I'm just. Am I there? Okay. As a writer, you can come up with any type of person that you want for your character. And, you know, sky's the limit. So that's where that comes in. I got a folder for mysticals. I love things pertaining to like fantasy, um, mythical, theology. Um, well, theology is, you know, biblical, but uh, mythology is what I meant to say. So, but yeah, I love all of that. This one right here is spooks. Yeah. Obviously, you know what that's for. And then I got something in the making right here. No peeking. No peeking. Everything turns out. You might see it in print. Who knows? I'm optimistic, okay? Uh, I got a folder here for history. Uh, this can be, you know, for historical stories, historical fiction. I don't know yet. It just, you know, yeah, I got a couple things in here. I wasn't sure. The other day, I went through this binder here, and I cleaned her out real good. I had an organizer because I had, all I had was that I took everything that was in the filing cabinet, and I threw it in here real quick and in a hurry because Brian and I were working on trying to organize her paperwork. It was that time of the decade. So, <laughs> there's where that came from. But the other day, I think it was a couple days ago, I wanted to do this video for y'all, and I didn't want this looking like a hot mess. So, I went through and I got, got it all organized and straightened everything. That way, when it came time for my little show and tell, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't look bad. So, that was my plan. I think it turned out okay. Anywho, and um, so I got, come on now, I got a sci-fi folder. Now, I got a bunch of things in here. You know, and this is basically um, characters and storylines and plots that I have already put together. That I've already made. I just got to take the pieces and put them together in one story thing. So, but uh, yeah. So here we got. Because oh, I don't know if you can see that very good. All right, contest. When you're doing freelance writing, get into as many contests, writing contests as you can, because a couple reasons. The first is that there, um, the prize can either be uh, cash and or um, your story submitted into a magazine or a newsletter of the place that's doing the story. You know, the contest. Plus, and the second thing, which I think is the most important, is that when you enter a, a, con a writing contest, it helps to tweak your craft, you know, and a lot of them, they critique your story. So they give you input and things that you as a writer, rather freelance or professional, could use. So there's that. Uh, magazines of interest right here this is very important for me because there are so many magazines out there not only physical but electronical electronical <laughs> electronic I can't talk right and um, whenever I come across a magazine that I believe would that feeds into what I want to write about I'll do research on that magazine and you know print it out and throw it into this file like, say, for example, you know, a scientific magazine that does uh, freelance creative writing or whatnot, you know, that would be something that pertains to what I write about and I want to get into. That's how you do that. Whenever you want to do a story or, you know, inquire to a magazine, you know, or an online publication of any kind, do your research first. All of them have, just about all of them have back issues. And look into those. Take the time to do your research, okay? See what they're all about and see if your story would fit into what they're publishing. And if not, don't stress over it. There are thousands of others. You just got to do your homework and do the research. And I guarantee you're going to find somebody. No problem. Uh, let's see here. And that's pretty much it 
Like I said, this is just a system that works for me. I got it all filed and everything. And you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, the most important thing, there we go. The most important thing is to put together a folder or about any kind of organization system for your writing. You know, now me, I'm a old school. I like the paper version. And Brad, he's trying to get me to do electronical. When I said to get electronic. I can't talk right. It's not time and I got things to do. <laughs> but I, this is important. Y'all important. I want to do this video for you first. So, but anyway, so like I said, find a system that works for you. And once you do and you got it set up, I guarantee that you're going to figure your mind's going to be clearer because you have things the way they need to be. I'm sorry about that. But I'm trying to get my whole head in here. But you got things the way you need it to be. And if you're wanting to quickly reach for something for, you know, you're writing, you know exactly where it's at. Organization is just as important as coming up with a story and letting your imagination go. You got to have it. Okay. But, um, yeah, also someone once asked me, where do you get your story ideas from? And I'd always tell them every day from everywhere. Okay. Every person has the story within them. And what you need to do is you just need to find it. And inspiration comes from everywhere. It could be from the people you interact with, the places you go, the things you see. It's everywhere. You just got to look. Use your writer's eyes. You know, go into the details of everything. Use your five senses. So, but yeah, just... Use your senses. You got to do it. All right, my darlings. Well, that's it for now. Um, but I hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe and click on that notification bell. That way, you know, for you know when some new videos pop up for you. And if you want, you know, please share any ideas that you may have regards to organizing or creating a writer's binder or folder or box or any kind of filing organization system that you've got. Share. Just share. You know, because every idea is wonderful. Every thought is great. So, but thank you for stopping by and I'll see y'all next time.